Good morning, everyone. I'm Eric Garcetti, mayor of a little town that neighbors San Diego to the north. I hope you're enjoying Southern California. My city, Los Angeles, is one of the premier hubs for innovation in both the public and private sectors globally. And we think big down here. But before I want to go any further, let me thank Jack for the invitation to speak to all of you. Jack is a tremendous leader and a dear friend who has helped us completely rethink in City Hall how we use technologies to break down silos, helping us create solutions that go well beyond the typical fire hose approach most cities take towards open data, which puts the onus on the user to make sense of it all. We're always looking for ways to simplify, improve, and build on what we're doing so that everyone can find something useful in the numbers and in the information. Today, you'll hear from our wonderful chief data officer, Lillian Corral, about the city's GeoHub portal. That portal enables us to reinvent the way we're delivering services and broadens our ability to engage everyday residents and businesses. By simply connecting the data housed in different city departments and using it to develop innovative, more efficient ways to serve people's needs, we are raising the very bar that we set for ourselves. And as I see it, that's exactly how it should be. GeoHub is already changing how we target street cleaning resources that communities need now, not a month from today or a year down the road. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. The GeoHub is an essential part of the foundation that will make Los Angeles smarter and more responsive for the next century and beyond. I can't wait to see what your work will uncover and how it will improve the quality of life in Los Angeles and cities around the world for years to come. So some of you may be wondering, what does a chief data officer do? Well, I work to ensure that our city is using information as an asset. I try to make sure that I'm ready to answer questions in real time about what's happening or what's about to happen. And I need data and maps to do this. When our mayor entered office barely three years ago, he faced some complex challenges. Street repairs, closures and congestions, a recovering economy, climate change, and then just the everyday challenges of offering public services. And as a young tech-savvy mayor, he quickly realized that Los Angeles, like many cities, wasn't using data and technology like it needed to. The, unfortunately, the recession had really decimated our technology budget. So he set about to make this right and to make Los Angeles an open city with open data. And then we realized we needed more than just a fire hose approach. So we began to conceive of this concept of the GeoHub a new innovative platform that's using open web services and web GIS. Today I'm going to show you how uh, it works. So the citizens of Los Angeles and the employees are basically weaving together pockets of our GIS data and technology that have been hidden in the halls of our city. And what this has meant is that it's, we've been developing applications that matter, and we're putting data to work. For example, in CleanStat, our city was under attack by local media for disparities in our sanitation services. With the GeoHub, we were able to quickly and effectively use GIS to understand the cleanliness of our city and track key trends, to deploy trash bins more effectively, drive out illegal dumping, and improve the overall quality of our services. And key to it all is transparency. Now every Angelino can zoom in on the map, check out their street score, and compare it to the rest of the city. They can also track investments in new areas, for example, like schools, because we believe that no child should have to walk to school through dirty streets. And now, parents also know how to get involved. From the start, the GeoHub has brought together silos of existing data that have been locked within our departments or in difficult-to-use applications. Now apps like Streetwise pull in data using WebGIS onto a single map so that any citizen can see what's happening on their street. Private developers can check out when and where there are opportunities to build. And the city itself can minimize construction conflicts and encourage coordination. The GeoHub dynamically integrates real-time data onto this user-focused map. And now we can use the same data and actually feed it into other applications, say for emergency management, so that in the event of a disaster, what's happening around the epicenter is automatically a part of our situational awareness picture. You know, as we've built more of these maps and apps, we also learned 
that simplicity was a very powerful way to communicate. For example, with the road to 2400, one of our most common complaints in Los Angeles is potholes. So our mayor put forth a policy that we are going to pave 2,400 lane miles every year. Our Bureau of Street Services took that challenge on, and in three years has paved over 50% of the city's lane miles. That's incredible. So how are we going to show this to the mayor so that he can then convey it to the public? Well, we decided to map every single street paved in chronological order to show progress. We reimagined a dashboard to beautifully convey the mayor's vision of a sleek Los Angeles that is data-driven, equitable, and exceeding our expectations. And then there are those moments when crisis calls. This past March 9th, um, Exide, a battery recycling facility in East Los Angeles, admitted to nearly two decades of illegal activity. They agreed to shut down and remove lead from surrounding homes. We relied on students, volunteers, and residents to help us spread the word, but we also put technology into action. Within a week, we were able to develop two tools, a collector app and a web-based geoform. And we were able to have citizens collect data, and now we're using that same data to track the progress of lead testing and the overall effort. There is never enough time in a crisis, but with the GeoHub, we've been able to be responsive when the community needs us. You know, as we tackle these kinds of challenges, we know that we don't have all the answers. We don't believe it, and the mayor says it all the time. In order to rally citizens, we have to create initiatives that matter to them. So today, we're actually unveiling a new focused initiative within the GeoHub. It's called Vision Zero, and the goal is to eliminate deaths and serious injuries on the road. The Vision Zero initiatives page allows us to pull in all of our transportation data and apps within the GeoHub onto a single page and layer it with KPIs, the county's public health data, and community input so that we can iterate, innovate, and build smarter apps and maps. And this is allowing us to look at problems from different angles. For example, in Los Angeles, a city where the car is king, if we make the city safer and more walkable, can we get Angelinos to leave their cars behind and take a walk? Well, we're looking at city, county, and regional transit data and prioritizing key metro stops to explore what's going on around them. And then we're learning the nature and characteristics of car drivers around those stops to see, if, to see how that can then inform our walkability strategy. And the best part of it all is that we're able to track the progress of our efforts. That's the value of initiatives. You know, the big idea behind the GeoHub, really, it's just that it's configurable, collaborative, and always changing. We've learned that the GeoHub can serve as a foundation to doing the work of making smarter cities. It pulls data from different places. It weaves in various perspectives in order to make the most compelling apps and maps. I encourage you all to explore LA's GeoHub and to download our apps and reconfigure them for your cities and show your organizations how you drive innovation.